Hi, this is Coach Kevin Gendron from Better Athletic Development in Shelton, Connecticut. Coming at you again with the fourth part of our five-part series on agility. With me today is Jessica. She's an eighth grader at a private high school. We made varsity this year for soccer. That's eighth through twelfth grade. And last year as a seventh grader, made varsity on the softball team. She also plays basketball. Today we're going to talk to you about deceleration, something I mentioned in the previous chapter. Two athletes of equal skill that are going head to head. The one who can stop first is always going to win. So deceleration becomes really important for agility. So today I'm going to show you a little bit about what we do for deceleration. And what we do is a depth jump. Really important that we absorb the forces that we've created to slow down and stop. And the better we can do that, the faster we can change direction, which is agility, really important. But it requires that the athlete is strong, flexible through the hips, can do a fantastic squat position. So Jess, why don't you show us? So Jess is going to perform a depth squat, uh, depth jump, and this is from 24 inches off the ground. Now notice how she lands. Heels will hit, she'll absorb forces, feet are in alignment, knees are in alignment with the feet, heads up. Go ahead, Jess. Very good. So notice, knees are right, tracking right over the feet, knees are wide, she's not in what we call valgus, this would be valgus, and that's really bad on the ACL, so we want to avoid that. Her head's up, her arms are back, so that she's able to change direction. If we need her to move out of this position quickly and comfortably, and very explosively. So if I ask her to jump back up, go ahead, and notice how she lands again. Really important. The second thing is if I want her to move laterally, she can move laterally with a crossover step. Show us that. There we go. Okay. Thanks, Jess. So that's our series on agility. Next week, we're going to talk about that crossover step that you just learned. And it's a lot faster than a shuffle step. Thanks for watching.